All right, you are still watching Ways Now. School Day of Nonviolence and Peace is observed in schools worldwide on January 30th um, to motivate tomorrow's citizens to find nonviolent solutions to conflict. The day originated in Spain and has spread across the world, reminding us of the teachings of uh, pacifists and advocates of nonviolence, including Mahatma Gandhi. So, happy International Day, School Day of Nonviolence and Peace. Mm. This is very important very. because, I mean, every single time there is any semblance of maybe like a problem or any conflict, people just believe that you have to fight, you know, you have to insult each other, mm. you know. So, that's why I don't know how I resolve conflict is I try to step back from the situation, you know. And I'm quick to apologize, really. If I feel like there's something that you are offended by, you know, when, I, when, I, when I'm able to get clarity, I just say mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Because yeah. it doesn't really hurt anybody to just apologize, True. right? True. Whether you choose to believe that the apology is genuine or, or not, not, that's on you. Mm. But, I mean, I, I don't believe that you must really use, you know, your fist or anything. But I, I see that a lot of people, and again, with this age of social media, right, it's so terrible. Any little thing that happens... It's yeah, on escalates. status. Yeah. It's on uh, social media. Mm. You know, I don't. You know the funny thing. I used to say to people that jokingly, deliberately, I don't check status because mm. if you were, if the target was for you to insult <laughs> me, I <laughs> ruin my mental health. It is difficult yeah. because mm. I don't even look at it. I don't mm. even know. You know. So I mean, violence now has even moved beyond just picking up arms. Yeah. Violence right now. Verbal violence. violence. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. A lot of people, you know, because you just see somebody says, go and kill yourself. And the person will truly go, yeah. you know. So it, it's um, it's something that we have to really be conscious of as a people and, you know, just, you know, as much as possible, let peace guide us. Let, you know, no matter how offended I am, mm. I can accommodate and tolerate, but I just, I will just be calm and quiet. But mm. I think let, let peace be the, at the back of all yeah. our minds. Well, how yeah. do you resolve conflict, though? Oh, like you said, I take a step back and I try to have a conversation from a place of listening to understand, not necessarily to listening justify to respond, exactly yeah. to respond. You know, and um, again, like you said, it, it just um, it resolves quite a whole lot, and you are able to see that. Oh, at the end of the day, it's just miscommunication. Mm. It's just misunderstanding, mm. and you probably you're, you're both of you are even saying the same thing, mm -hmm. just different ways, you Absolutely. know. And um, I like this um, International Day because um, for kids, you know, they emulate what they see. Mm -hmm. So when they see adults find that violence is the only way for them to resolve conflict they naturally think that's the right way so but well, if we the only way exactly mm -hmm. the only way so yes we have to keep on telling them that they're emphasizing is, yeah there's, there's conflict, a different sit down, way have yeah. a conversation if the child yeah. is raising a tantrum let the child calm mm. down true true so, uh, true me, I've learned that one you can't get me to react I always respond mm. so I will stay quiet when you have done all your ranting, I will come and respond to you back. <laughs> but hey, I can't be, we can't be all like that. At all, at yeah, all. We need some, some, some people say they need some ataro, <laughs> some ginger. <laughs> but let me take my story in line with violence, right? Okay. Um, Edo State, there was an early scuffle this um, today. Mm -hmm. um, young people protesting, they took to the street, burning tires, saying that the government, um, of course, they were just generally upset about the government and um, how, um, was it called, things are hard, hardship, and all of that. If they can find that video, you know. So what I was just, you know, worried for, because um, can we, because we're talking about violence now, can we also express our views peacefully? <laughs> we don't have to, do you understand? Mm. Yes, you are tired of bad gov government, no light, no fuel, because that's what they were saying at mm. the back of this mm. um, burning of tires. So they had shut down the federal road. Um, they, they blocked the federal road, and they said no light, no fuel, no new Nara notes. We're tired of b bad governance, and this happened in Benin Tapley Road, right? So, I mean, so this is what we're saying, that mm. um, conflict re resolution or, or maybe like um, expression of grievance or mm. whatever mm. shouldn't resort to this, because this now, only God knows, you know, as little as this, I've seen how it just escalates into, you know, wondering, True. how did it even start? You know, start seeing violence, killings, and all of that. So let's avoid, especially, the, we are in a very tense period as a nation. Let's mm. just avoid things like that.
you understand? Let's avoid it as much as we can. And I just hope that this is not going to become a, a thing in other states. Because, I mean, this is how... There's also the mob mentality. Mm. You know, people see that, okay, this has happened in this particular city. It. We can try it in our state. Mm. And then it just becomes a wildfire. Absolutely. You know, that's so. uncontrollable. Yeah, yeah. What's your story? Then I'll come back to another story. Okay, DSS arrests syndicate selling new Naira notes. Ha! <laughs> 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 so, when I saw... I said it. <laughs> <laughs> so, DSS says that... Um, I mean, there is a syndicate, you know, doing this, and mm. then they feel that the bank officials are also very complicit in this. And that goes to you, your earlier statements ah. about, you know, we, we see what is happening on social media for in parties. There, there are stacks and stacks of Tell me new notes. Don't <laughs> 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 oh, you know? Oh, yeah. I say, ah, You're wondering. My what sister that works in a financial, she's a director, <laughs> financial company. <laughs> She was just telling me on Saturday that this, she had a, a thousand naira note. Just one. That this is the first time <laughs> she, because she doesn't even do cash. There's somebody who now carry. And there was another party, so it was bond, um, um, packets they were yeah. spraying. Not, I, I so they all that. had a yeah. bundle and mm. they were just throwing packets of uh -uh, 500 naira notes. So you're forced mm. to ask is that the fake notes or is that from. No, now we have caught them. Yes, <laughs> yes, please hold them well. <laughs> Because it's just ridiculous. Now, did you hear? I said this is a topic mm. for tomorrow. Because yeah. did did you hear that for every ten thousand naira, it's six, it's four thousand. Yeah. What kind of what yeah. kind of madness is 50, that? Fifty thousand for fifteen thousand. For what? Money traders. I could know Sabi like to speak, <laughs> so you can't catch me there. So speaking about arrests, so the uh, police has arrested vandal um, vandals, suspected um, vandals that um, went on. I think they went on um, the. But Ijora, but the, but I think this is Ijora area, right, of um, Lagos State. They had caught these guys at about 1 a.m., right? The patrol team around that Ijora area, they inter intercepted them in a Mustibushi Lansa uh, car conveying vandalized railway tracks. Now, the two uh, occupants of the vehicle had been arrested and the investigation is ongoing. The reason I took this story, remember when we talked about the tra trains mm. derailing yeah, and yeah. all of that? So, if we have more arrests like this, True. maybe because you see, the, Nigeria, we, are, we have a, 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 they call it a hider headed monster. Mm. Whilst we're complaining that there are no infrastructures and all of that to accommodate the population that we have as Nigerians, we have a bigger problem where even the infrastructure, the little infrastructure that we, the we government destroyed. has put in place, mm. we as Nigerians, we destroy those infrastructure. True. True. Do you True. understand? So, we need to keep on catching these people as scapegoats mm. so that they know that it is not business as usual. I mean, you put the medians on the roads in the express. You see them, they'll go and roll up those barbed wires. Mm. The medians are there de specifically so that people are forced to use the pedestrian bridges so that they will not be dead anymore while crossing the road. But it's just a complete, you know, it's just a complete it's a mess. mess. It's really, a complete it mess. is. I mean, I mean, I have seen situations where um, you find... Um, Road hawkers, the guys in traffic, digging oh, potholes. Yeah, thank Just you. So they can so you sell. can slow exactly. down so that it's you can sell. Wrong, and ah. I think we need to focus more on enforcement. Yes, and talking to our sales. Yes. And then advocacy. advocacy. We need to teach people. People need to <laughs> learn that it is beyond that it cover is. you want to put it, in your pocket. It is. It Absolutely. is. It is. All right. So on that note, we are going to continue this money matter tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> We'll take a break now. When we come back from the break, we have Kunle Lawal with us. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Mm -hmm.